Yeah. I go by the name of Charlemagne the Tucker. I go by the name of Lemon and Schultz. And we are the Brilliant Idiots. Welcome yes. to another week of Brilliant Idiotness. Uh, from websites and <laughs> online stores, the marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Let's start the show. Charlamagne. Um, aren't we really the podcast between Tucker Carlson and Don Lemon? Like, if there was a podcast, if those two <laughs> political journalists had a podcast, wouldn't it be Brilliant Idiots? I don't know, because I think we're more logical. Um, I don't think we're... Us? Yeah, well, okay. Well, yes, in our own stupid way. And I also don't think we're as performative as either... Us? <laughs> well, it's different. Our performative is actual performative. Meaning people come here because they know we're performing. You yes. Know what I mean, you yes, don't turn yes, on yes, the yes. news. Yes. We're not lying about our performances. There you go. Yes. Okay, that's what I'm Got trying you. to say. Yes, okay, yes, fair yes, enough. Yes, yes, yes. But I can see, you know, Lee Daniels said that he wanted to see that. By the way, Lee Daniels' statement made no sense. What did Lee Daniels say? Can you play it, Taylor? Just play it. Just, like, can you play what Lee Daniels said? Because the shit made absolutely no goddamn sense. And, and I hate when people try to play, two, and I love Lee Daniels, but I hate when people try to play two sides of the coin. You know what I mean? Because he tries to say what he feels like his following is saying in the beginning, right? Listen. Listen, out. I don't know how I feel about that. How you feel? Man, we know how I feel about that. Bye. Bye, bye motherfucker. He's talking and about Tucker. Don Lemon out, which is just like gut-wrenching. Right, Jeremy? Gut-wrenching. I mean, okay, so but here's the thing. I got this an idea that I got a bunch of boys to think about this. Listen. Don Lemon, Tucker Carlson, if I were a smart executive, I'd put them both on the same TV show. How... Bananas with the ratings, dude. That's crazy. Love it. Okay. I love it. And I think it could possibly unite the country, too. Okay, let's stop right there. You start off by saying, how do we feel about Tucker Carlson? Bye, motherfucker. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, yeah. But if I was a smart executive, I'd, I'd put about. him and Don Lemon on the same show. Could, do we even think about our takes anymore? No, we just say shit. And I think he's on live. <laughs> when he said, when he said that, when he said Don Lemon was gut wrenching, did you think of gay jokes too, or or that was just me? <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't have said gut wrenching. He literally said that was yeah. gut wrenching. Yeah, it would have been butt wrenching if it was a gay joke. Not if you go deep. That's. That's a fact. Son, if if Don got it like that. That's a fact. That's a fact. But um, (laughs) how do you feel about this whole situation? No, I want to know what you were thinking just right (laughs) now. I said what I was thinking. (laughs) I was thinking (laughs) (laughs) butt-wrenching. But that's not deep enough, bro. You know Don Packin'. Man, shut up, man. You don't think Don Packin'? (laughs) Big dick Donnie make your face look like you ate a lemon. (laughs) You you don't know. That's why they call him Don That's why they call him Don. Don Lemon, you'd be like, oh, oh, <laughs> gut wrenching, make your face look sour. Come on, you don't think he was out at the Black Effect Music Festival doing work this weekend? It was a podcast, podcast festival. festival. No, we didn't see Don out Whatever, there. bro. You know what I mean? Whatever. <laughs> By the way, y'all had to see this coming, though, right? So, what coming? Both of these firings. Listen, if it's in your guts, you're not going to see nothing coming, bro. <laughs> come, on, come on, Sean. You're going to feel it, though. You're definitely going to feel it. Just get your intestines slimed. Yeah. Um, the reverse. They call that the reverse. You, <laughs> you had to see this coming, though, right? Yes. Keep saying that shit. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Keep saying head. that shit, dude. Why are you so horny, bro? Why are you so fucking horny, bro? Come on, Charlotte. Did, did I see Don Lemon coming? What nope. do porn stars and religious folks have in common? Eating the body of Jesus. They both get on their knees. And? Por- <laughs> porn stars <laughs> get on their knees for the first coming. Ooh! Oh, 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 get on their knees for the second coming. By the way, when I said eating the body of Jesus, I was talking about a Mexican. <laughs> 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 Listen, we are Charlamagne just got back from Atlanta. Oh, we are man. sassy this week. Atlanta was we are amazing. Sassy. We had a ball in Atlanta. Just one. Just hey, one. come on now. 
just Come the on. I told Travis, salute to Travis. Travis is the homie. Uh, Travis is a sis. He's one of the kids. No, he's not a sis. That would make him a sis. Is he a sis? What does sis Jesus mean? He's cis male. He's cis. I call him sis. Is he gay or is he he's trans? He's gay. C or with Oh, he's a cis as in like sister. S-I-S. Yeah, I call him sis. So yeah. Trav came to Atlanta this weekend. He said he came for the Black Effect podcast. Did he let you borrow his wrists? No, but I said to Trav, I said, Trav, you did not come to Atlanta for the Black Effect podcast festival. What did he come for? He came for dick. Ooh. I just happened to be, <laughs> we just happened to be in Atlanta that weekend. Uh-huh. Knock it off. You didn't come all the way from Philadelphia. You think he came just for the festival? No. Well, thank you, Trav. That's my guy. I love no. Trav, man. It wasn't as gay as I thought. You thought it was going to be gay because it was in Atlanta? Like, I There's not just different stop <laughs> stereotypes of Atlanta. What are you talking about? Atlanta's not gayed out like that. There was a lot of, yes. yes. I mean, I thought it was going to be like majority. Why? I, think I mean, the, I am hold on, a gay wait. icon. So I can understand why y'all would think that. I am. The kids love me. The kids? The kids Whoa. love me. I am. <laughs> what is going What's on? What's going on? Gay icon. What is so I understand y'all I thinking Michael Jackson. that a large <laughs> amount of the... See, y'all don't know gay lingo, see? Yeah, I, I know... <laughs> that's why I'm not... That's why I'm I know a large amount of... I know y'all would think a large amount of gay people would be there. And they probably were. We don't know people's sexuality. You can't just look at somebody and tell their sexuality. What are you talking about? You can't. This is what I do most days of my life. Big gaydar energy? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? What's up? I just wanted to talk about Don Lemon and talk to talk. Can I what happened? Though? Yeah, ask if a, a guy question. wears an ankle bracelet, what's that to you? I think he's a prisoner. I think don't, talk don't, 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 don't talk to her. Don't talk to her. Don't talk to her. Are you dating don't a guy that's no, got an ankle bracelet? There don't talk to her. There's a lot of this. guys that were sassy that yeah. saw. That Wait, is not true. You don't think yes, it's possible? It's, it's 2023. People wear ankle bracelets as fashion statements. People get their fingernails painted as fashion statements. It doesn't mean that they're gay. I would say that... Metrosexual. I would say that no, straight men have been getting gayer <laughs> of late. They should. Yes. I'm not saying that this is a bad thing, it's but I'm bad. saying the influence of gay men over straight men is profound That is days. such a great 100%. Point. Not enough gay men because we out straight men for cultural appropriation. Oh, for sure. Because back in the day, we used to want to be black. Now, we want to be oh, gay. Wow. Are you mm. saying gay is the new black? Gay is the new black, bro. So gay is the new cool. Yeah, black dudes used to be cool. Now y'all old and whack. Ooh. Gay dudes are the cool ones. We all want to dress gay, look gay, fingernails gay. We out here sucking dicks. Whoa. But we just did that to be like black dudes. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> white dudes definitely, wait, 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 wait. White dudes definitely got the patent on, on the You don't think dick. black dudes suck the best dick, bro? Nah, bro. White hold on, hold on. Nah, no, white, white men? You don't think black dudes suck better dick than no white dudes? No way, Jose. White wait a minute. men invented it, bro. We invented what? gay? Not invented gay, but y'all like <laughs> were the first down low gay people. No! Yeah, but easily. <laughs> we was not down low. E- <laughs> we were doing it above water, bro. No, oh, Charlotte. Socrates. They also invented the NBA and look at how that went. No, no, we didn't That's do down low. You have to understand, I'm culturally speaking, white people have been open with uh, homosexuality. Not true. Na- uh, explain politicians then. Explain all the politicians who will protest against all gay rights and gay legislation but be having boyfriends. That's because of black people's effect on the world. Nope. Who nope. Was, was Jesus? What color was Jesus? What color was Jesus? Um, yellow. Bronze. Yellow. Oh, now he's yellow. Yellow. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Because before he's Bronze. black. Yellow. Uh, yeah, before yellow. he's black. Before he's a black dude. Jesus was you black. Be, but black comes in all shades, so you can be bronze. Yeah. All right, but let's. He's not white. I'm let's not put doing it that no way. gay Jesus joke. No, 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 no. I'm not saying gay Jesus. <laughs> what? what I'm saying is, Jesus comes around, he's like, yo, cut that gay shit out, right? Black Jesus, black people. It's <laughs> gonna no. Black people. No. White no. people was no. wild gay. It was pagans. They was fucking all. Every white Whoever dude. Whoever wrote that line in the Bible that gay is an abomination? Jamaicans. I don't know. <laughs> it is possible that Jamaicans got, got their hands on the Bible. Put that in Genesis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what chapter was that? Who gay is an abomination? Yeah. Whoever wrote that just wanted all the dick for themselves. Ooh. So the black dude. <laughs> what? Is the black dude? So the black. I'm just saying, Jesus was black. Jesus was not white. We know for a fact that Jesus was not Jesus white. Jesus didn't write the Bible. He wrote that new, new. Nah. The homies did. Jesus had nothing to do with none of that. 
Jesus is a mascot, bro. You're you're being disrespectful. I love our prophet Jesus, but wow. I'm saying being Jesus would te technically Jesus wouldn't have a religion. No, Jesus would Jesus, just be Jesus. No, Jesus was Jewish. He was a rabbi. He was a rabbi. Yeah. Really? Yeah, devout Why you Jew. It's anti-Semitic. It's not anti-Semitic. You Christians think that you got your own shit. I'm not a Christian. You're just off-white Jews. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you are. You just want to be Jews, bro. I'm sorry. I hate to say it, but you're a bunch of wannabe Jews. It is what it is. It's hilarious. It's true. It's this is what of, it is. This is a bunch of Ablo Jews. <laughs> it's, I don't even know what that means, bro. Virgil. Virgil. Oh, Virgil. Yeah, <laughs> off way. Dude, the Virgil Mary would be a great. <laughs> you that'd be a great collab. You gotta start coming to warmups. You gotta start coming to warm up. This Alex. Nigga. We just can't be put like, down. You warmed game. up in the fucking radio <laughs> and shit. It's, 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 it's his first day with his own camera angle. He's gonna be a little nervous. He's gonna be a little nervous. You gotta get me bombing, bro. <laughs> I'm sitting there thinking, like, what, what race? I saw where he was going. I saw where he was going. Now, he saw the vision. Uh -huh. Okay, listen, shout out Atlanta, man. So you're saying Atlanta is not the stereotype. It is not a gay city. I don't think Atlanta's no gay in any other place, bro. I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't be paying attention. You is know it I mean? fair to say that it's black gayer than most other places? So you have many gay cities, yeah, but they're be, not yeah, as yeah, black yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah, yeah. openly that, yeah, gay. Yeah, I can see that. That might be fair to say. I mean, I, I'm sure that there's a statistical fact behind that, but I can see that. Yeah. I can see where uh, black gay people have a great sense of community in Atlanta. I mean, Atlanta's already a great black city, but they probably just feel, and I could be wrong, I'm just speaking, they probably feel safer there than most mm -hmm. places. You know what now, I mean? Do you think it's possible that calling Atlanta a, a gay city is really a racist white propaganda to destroy a beautiful, um, no, I think successful that, black city. I mean, I think you you, you you still have all of that with the, the the gay people there. I'm sure gay people contribute contribute to, to it is, being a great city. What if white racists were out there going, "Oh my God, these black people in Atlanta are building this uh, thriving metropolis. Uh, we got to do something to undercut it, like what they did with rollerblading." I don't think they care. <laughs> rollerblading. Skateboarders <laughs> saw rollerblading <laughs> coming on. Everybody was rollerblading. It was becoming the most popular extreme sport. So skateboarders what is invented happening? that. What? <laughs> I'm just telling you how white people operate now is different, dude. We could drone strike. So we both miss warm-ups today, oh, bro. Man. <laughs> you know I mean? I'm just Don't bring me into no, your box. I'm, I'm out here, bro. Show shooting. Show shooting. I'm, I'm carrying this shit right now, okay? You afraid to acknowledge the homosexuality of the great city of Atlanta? No, Atlanta has homosexuals. I just don't know if it has any more homosexuals than any other city. At one point, it definitely did. I don't know if that stereotype still holds up now. Because didn't San Francisco have the title for a minute? Yo, San Francisco had the title for a while. But was it a fun experience down there? The uh, Atlanta the was incredible. We had a ball at the first ever Black Effect Podcast Festival, man. It is amazing how... Uh. 10 years ago, 11 years ago, people didn't even know what a podcast was. Uh, but now we're able to have whole, whole festivals, yeah. you know? And, you know, for, for being partners with a company like iHeart, which is the biggest distributor of podcasts right now and the biggest radio company, you got to create new tent poles, right? Yep. New tent pole events. Like, it's not like back in the day where concerts are the tent pole events, you know, music concerts and stuff like that. It's like, what's what is, happening what, now? What does that term mean, tent pole events? Tent pole, it's like, uh, like you know, Hot 97 has Summer Jam, that's a tent pole event. You and know what I mean? Or, it, or Z100 event. has Jingle Ball, that's yeah. a tent pole event, you know? So an event that, like, is synonymous with the brand that everybody in the world knows. Absolutely, gotcha. absolutely. So, you know, for, I mean, for me personally, I got a couple of those now. The, the Mental Wealth Expo right. is one. Right. You know, we'll be on our third year of that this year, and that's where, that's free. Like, I let everybody in there free. I bring some of the best psychiatrists and therapists and spiritual leaders, just people that can help folks heal, bring them all in one room, have a day of panels and breakout rooms. People can go how to learn how to meditate and do yoga, all types of different stuff. And that's a free event that we do every year mm. around uh, World Mental Health Day. And now we have the uh, Black Effect Podcast Festival. That'll be an annual event every year. That's fire. Yeah, man. I love it. And it was fun. I mean, it's just an amazing thing to like watch. And I, I was speaking of the crowd. Like that's why I guess that's why I wasn't focusing on people's sexuality, right? <laughs> In the crowd. I was focused on what were people coming there just to see what it was, or were people coming because they actually love 
podcast. Mm. And you could tell by the crowd mm. they were there to listen to the podcast. Oh, that's yep. cool. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, they were sitting. Like, they were sitting. Like, and when the podcasts were on, they were listening. Don't get me wrong. You had, like, vendors and you had food and you had a lot of other stuff going on. Yeah. And, you know, we sold out. So, <clears throat> it was a few thousand people there. But it's like... The main, like the, it was packed from beginning to end, from 11 a.m. to when we we ended early, like six o'clock, seven o'clock. I think we were supposed to be done at eight, but we ended at like six o'clock, seven o'clock. Packed the whole time. Wow! Like so, it was. I got to give Charlemagne his credit. That was the most well produced festival I've ever been to, wow. and that was the first time I ever seen that many black people show up on time for something. Wow! They were there at the very they start. The, the place beginning. was packed. Bro. Yeah, wow. salute Great. to Dolly, man. Dolly Bishop, president of the Black Effect Podcast Network. Her and the whole Black Effect team, man. They made sure everything, bro. all the T's were crossed and I's were dotted. Salute to iHeart. You know they do great festivals. They do great events, you know, and just that combination of Dolly and Black Effect and iHeart, they made for a great event, man. Mm. Like it was, it was, it was flawless from beginning to end. Unbelievable. Loved it. Highlight for you. Uh, highlight for me. Ooh, that's a no. good one. What do you mean? Like as far as concert wise? No, just like a part of the whole experience. What was I I'm I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I enjoyed everybody that was up there, but I thoroughly enjoyed horrible decisions, man. I I I gotta I'm they not They killed it. Yeah. It's the best live podcast show I've ever seen, man. Really? Yeah, because they just they they really have mastered the art of putting on a show yes. in podcast form. It's a it's a show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. it's just they they they're just they're the best. Everybody's good. You know what I mean? Only 85 South is great because it's like it's improv. You know they, yeah. You can't beat Carlos and Nav and Clayton up there laughing, joking, just fucking with people. But I'm talking yeah. about as far as a show. Yeah. Yeah, horrible decisions. Can you can you talk sure. about that game that horrible played? Which game? I forgot. They played a couple of them. The one with the when couple. They bought Jess out. Nah, with the person you know, very. Oh, intimately. that was wild. <laughs> that was crazy. That was wild. That was that made no sense. He's an idiot. What happened? <laughs> he's a fucking idiot. Who's he? My cousin. He's a fucking idiot. He's stupid. He he's he's an idiot. No, that no, was that wasn't we talked back. That, that was, was on horrible decisions yeah. stage. Yeah, because he went up there to dance during We Talk Back, and he was on the Good Knees Challenge. Only guy up there. Like, you're the only... By the way, that says a lot. When you were in Atlanta, they do a Good Knees Challenge, right? All the gay men that could have went up there and shook their ass, he took his ass up there to do the Good Knees Challenge. Why? Wow. I mean... You know what I'm saying? Like, for what? Like, right? For what? Right? So he did the Good Knees Challenge. <laughs> then he went back up there and they played a game with horrible decisions. And it's like when you put your back to your, your partner and they ask you a question. So the question was, this is you and your wife. Imagine you and your wife shows back to back. Yeah. If you could sleep with one of your wife's friends, who would it be? Um, what would the answer be for you? Uh wow, there's so many of them. Uh, no, 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 no. can get that off because he's a comedian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you gotta say a dude. That's the only. That's what I. I would just Why say they nobody. Well, because that's not funny. <laughs> and I want to be. But you're a comedian. So yeah, I get yeah, it, yeah, I get yeah, it, I get yeah, it. Yeah. But if you're not a comedian, if I could sleep with any of my wife's friends, and you're not a comedian, you just yeah. up there playing a the game. Yeah. What would you want your wife to say? Honestly, I would sleep with my wife's best friend. Me. What would you want your wife to say? No. Uh, what would I want my wife to yeah. say? If, you, if they said, if you could sleep with any of Schultz's friends, who would get it out of here? Get out of here. 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 I don't have any friends. So the answer, <laughs> uh, the friends. answer would be no. None, none. 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 Right. None. That's what. That's What'd your what dumbass cousin say? Well, his wife said none. Okay. This dumbass really says her best friend. <gasps> Writes it on the paper. <laughs> says it out loud to all of these thousands of people. God bless him. <laughs> He yeah. understands how to entertain in a moment, bro. Didn't see him for the rest of the night. Bruh. He didn't come out. Bruh. <laughs> he didn't come out. I don't know if he made it out, bro. That night was over, bro. I'm was like, she why? there? They were back to back. They were playing. No, the game. no, the best friend. Oh, I don't know, you know. That's a good question. Well, maybe. You know what I'm saying? That's a good question. You got a I'm manifest. Like, and I said to him, I said, why would you answer that? And he was like, Yo, everybody laughed. I said, yeah, but you don't want everybody to laugh at the sake of your fucking wife. Yeah, that's fucked you up. You fucking idiot. Yeah. Is she alive? Is the best friend alive? 
Because <laughs> you can also say that. You can also say you would fuck your your, yeah, she's alive. your wife's best friend that died. And then bro, that's more understandable. She's alive. She yeah. was so tight. She was As upset. you should have been. She was bro. so tight. You ain't never, you're never living that one down. You're not living that one down, bro. You can't just make a statement like that and expect to go on about your life. But uh, salute to everybody who came to the Black Effect Podcast Festival. Thank you, man. Can't wait to do it again next year. Uh, next year is already loading, baby. And you going to do it again in Atlanta? Yes, we're going to do it again. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure we're going to do it. Uh, 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 my, my boss said we're going to do it again in Atlanta. The I boss, think that makes the sense. The boss being Dolly, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that makes sense. If you have a you know a city that came out and supported it, then exactly. it's your own thing. Absolutely. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Um, Don Lemon and Tucker Carlson, man. Can you uh, make some sense of this to me? Because I just read the headline. I didn't care enough to really read into it, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but, but why did they both get fired? Can we start with Tucker? You had to know Tucker was going to get fired when your company takes a $787 million hit in the lawsuit, bro. When something like that happens, you know heads are going to roll, right? Like, you already know. Yeah. Heads are going to roll at Fox News when a company loses $787 million. And can we just clarify for the lawsuit. audience why they lost that lawsuit? They lost a uh, defamation lawsuit because they said that, uh, what they say was Dominion? The voting machines what they were say, riggable. Yeah, yeah, the Dominion, Dominion is the is company, company that makes the voting machine, and they said that they had rigged the the election without any proof. And a lot of things that came out during that case was that they knew, like a lot of these, a lot of the Fox News anchors didn't like Donald Trump. They knew Donald Trump was lying about the election being stolen. Yeah. They said these things, you know, in private text messages, right? But then they still went on air and, you know, pushed the lie that the, the election was stolen. Right. I just knew that a big head was going to roll. Um, I didn't think it would be a Hannity. I could easily see it being a Tucker. And Tucker is getting sued right now by a former producer of Fox News for sexual harassment. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now. So you're not about to cost the company more money. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I think if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, didn't he say some things about like the big wigs at Fox in the text messages too? Yeah, I mean, he, he basically went against all their narratives behind the scenes. So I don't know if internally that caused him issues with Rupert Murdoch. But. Yeah. Now, Alex thinks that they're getting him out of here because they want to support Trump in his uh, re-election campaign. And they don't they're going to support him will, anyway. We'll get behind. Yeah. Him. But those texts that came out like he was really saying how much he hates Trump. And yeah, but he went on air and did the complete opposite. I know, but the fact that the text came out now, Trump actually knows how he feels about him. And so I think Trump just Trump strong. did an interview with him two weeks ago. What are y'all talking about? Wait, he did? After the text came out? Yes, Trump did an interview with Tucker like a week, was it last week? Or it wasn't that long ago. When the, Google that. It was like a two, it was like literally like a week and a half ago, Trump sat with Tucker Carlson. What it, uh -huh. Listen, these guys are on the same page. They may mm -hmm. say whatever about each other behind the scenes, but when they've all collectively said, that's what we're going to go get behind, they, that's they, what they're going to get behind. Okay. Like, what are we talking about? So basically, the company takes a big loss. They've got to fire someone and make them kind of Got to make an example. For it. Interesting. They do this all the time. One but thing make I, an example of what? I thought that everybody in the company has been, you know, found that they were doing the same exact thing. Yeah, but but if you're if you're if Fox takes a credibility hit and they lose seven hundred and eighty-seven million dollars, you just got to make an example out of somebody. That's all. By the way, the, anybody they put in that time slot is going to be successful. So We're acting like they didn't do this to O'Reilly, guys. So that's the other thing that's quite interesting is that like I th I thought this had nothing to do with the big hit. I thought that Tucker believed that he could be making more money on his own, and Fox believed that he wasn't worth the money that he wanted. And both of those things can be true. In other words, if Tucker, let's say Tucker's making four million a year, yeah. five million a year, something like that, and he's working five nights a week and he's fucking going crazy, he can probably make more of that venturing out on his own, doing a Substack, doing a Patreon, getting a crazy deal from uh, Daily a Wire, deal. Right. a book deal, book these deal. types of things. Like he could, he could make way more money. You hear of Caller Daddy making sixty million. He's out here doing the news, and he's the number one rated show on Fox. And he's like, "How the fuck is this girl that got famous talking about how many guys she sucked their dick making more money than I'm making?" I don't doing president. I don't know if people care about Tucker as much as they care about Fox News. Uh, but, but but what I'm saying is, but Bill O'Reilly's definitely lost a lot of cash. Aid. You're right. You're right. You're right. What I'm saying is, when you're involved in that, you believe what people are telling. You people get mm. locked up in their bubbles, right? And yeah, they believe yeah, that they're yeah. the biggest thing in the entire world. So he's going, I can make more money outside, which he might be able to. Fox is going, Hey, you're part of the machine. 
right? Fox is like, hey, we're Saturday Night Live. We can fire someone, put a new person in, and people are going to still watch it. So it kind of makes sense for both of them to separate Mm. because there is more money to be saved for Fox by not paying a guy like Tucker and more money to be made for Tucker by not being part of the big institute. But we know this was a firing. And the the reason you know it was a firing is because Friday... He just signed off. If it's not a firing, they let you do a last show. If it's a mutual parting ways, Mm. they let you say, okay, you got a month left or you got a week left or however long it is. You know it was a firing because he was there for, trust me, as a person who's been fired four times from radio and never Mm. had a proper sign off. (laughs) They don't don't let you do that. He got fired. Mm. Fair enough. See, two weeks ago, Tucker Carlson interviewed Donald Trump about his indictment. And even Trump even reacted to Tucker Carlson and said that he was surprised that they let him go. I'm curious, though, if they took that big money hit, why would they get rid of their best rated show that makes them the most money? Because they took a credibility hit, too. They took a credibility hit. Yeah. Because people think that, you know, they got anchors on the air that are lying. I don't, I don't know who all those text messages were between, but from what I saw, I think it was like Tucker, Laura Ingram. Tucker's definitely the biggest personality out of all of them. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm sure Tucker also makes more money than anybody else. So yeah, you're but- like... And you don't fire and you don't fire Laura because if you fire Laura in the midst of you know sexual harassment mm. lawsuits and everything else, like now you fire the woman, so yeah. you get you got you good you get rid of the big fish. Yeah, this this changes the conversation. Nobody's talking about them owing Dominion seven hundred eighty seven million dollars. No. That is true. That is true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. That is true. Now it's all about yo. We got rid of Tucker. And who knows? I don't know who they're gonna put in Tucker place, but I bet you that person will still have high ratings. I bet you Tucker goes to Daily Wire. I bet you Daily Wire right now is working out a deal with him. I saw Jesse Waters trending, which made me think it was going to be him. Jesse Waters, perfect. Yeah. That's it. You put Jesse Waters in that in that time slot, Jesse Waters still does numbers. Okay, now Don Lemon. Why did Don Lemon get fired? Don Lemon got fired because Don Lemon just been racking up offenses, man. What you know you what do? I'm saying? Go, I saw everybody posting this clip. It was the clip of Don Lemon talking to, uh, I can't even remember the guy's name Vivek, now. Uh, what was the guy's name? The Don Lemon was, that's the clip? Yeah. Play that clip, Taylor. This is the clip that they're saying, that the internet is saying got Don Lemon fired. So uh, hang on one second. So to say that, that black people, say, say what you said again. Black people secured their freedoms after the Civil War. It is a historical fact, Don. Just study it. Only after their Second Amendment rights have, were secured. They that's were a not fact. secured their freedoms after the Civil War. That is not, you're, you are discounting uh, uh, Reconstruction. You're discounting a whole host of things that happened after the Civil War when it comes to African Americans, including the whole reason that the Civil Rights Movement happened is because black people did not secure their freedoms after the Civil War. And, and that things turned around. People were, tried to change the freedoms that were supposed and to And you know how they the got Civil it? War they got their Second Amendment rights, and they actually got, the NRA played a big role in that. But today, down the, the final, NRA did the, not play a big role. They train black Americans how to use firearms. That's a lie. That's not. The NRA did not play a big role. This is just historical fact. But not historical fact. The part that I find because you say it's historical fact. The part that I find insulting is when you say today black Americans don't have those rights after we have gone through civil rights revolution in this country. You are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the 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 way I live, the skin I live in every day. Here's where you and I have the freedom that black and white that black people don't have in this country, and that black people do have. Well, here's where you and I have a different point of view. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin. We should have this debate I'm not saying you without me regarding views, you as a black it's man, insulting that but you're me regarding you as a fellow citizen. That you're That's sitting what I think here, we whatever ethnicity you are, explaining to me whatever ethnicity about I'm, what it's like to be black Whatever America, ethnicity I'm I am, sorry. I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American. I'm proud of it. But I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. Say whatever ethnicity you are. You should, do it, you should do it in an honest way and in a I fair think, way. And what you're doing is not an honest and fair way. Okay? we appreciate you coming on. With due respect, Don, I look forward to continuing that conversation. Thank you. The conversation. Thank, Thank you. According Thank to the New York Times, we'll this is the interview yes, that Don like Lemon conducted last week, and it played a role in his firing. I, I don't know Ow. if it did. <clears throat> I, I don't know if it did. I think that anybody that's saying that really hasn't been paying attention because there was a Variety article that came out like three weeks ago. The headline. This is a hit piece, right? This is clear expose. Don Lemon's misogyny at CNN exposed malicious texts, mocking female co-workers, and diva-like behavior. You know, and they got like 12 employees, former employees, and I think even present employees who spoke on the record about how, you know, Don allegedly isn't 
the most pleasant towards women. Mm. Then you put that on top of the comments he made about with, about Nikki Haley saying women aren't in their prime after a certain age. Then in December, you know, he he allegedly screamed at one of his co-hosts during a break. Like y'all, y'all haven't been paying attention. Like you know, if this came as a if this came as a shock to anybody, you really haven't been paying attention to the the picture they've been painting of Don Lemon over the past few months. So it wasn't that back and forth with that guy that led to his Is it possible this is firing? just how you get treated in the workplace when a man doesn't want to sleep with you? <laughs> like, what I'm saying is how he was treating these women. I don't know if he specifically hates them, but he has no interest in having sex with them. So he's just treating them as genderless employees, right? Yeah, but you can't yell at me. I don't give a fuck. Why can't you yell at people? Nah, you're not gonna yell at me, and you're not you're not my you're not gonna be my boss and yell at me. Why not? Because we're human, we're grown people. You're not gonna let nobody yell at you. Shut up, Schultz. Somebody you just yelled at me. I did not yell at you. You just told me to shut up and yell at me. It's what we do every single week. I'm not in a fucking huffing and puffing about it. Oh, let me write an article. Charlemagne the God yelled at me and told me to I shut up on the podcast. I did not yell at you. I did not yell at you. Charlemagne. That was a little bit of a yell, Charlemagne. What the fuck do you think you just did? That was a little bit of a yell. That was not yelling. Your voice got louder and you told him to shut up. I, you think Don Lemon said anything meaner to any of the people that he worked with than what you just said to me? Yes. He You're is an gay, animal, bro. He is a gay man. Oh, talk there that shit. There is nobody more vicious. Talk that when shit. When they want to cut you down that, to side. Talk when that they want to fucking read you. Mm-hmm. Yes, I mm-hmm. know he said things that were okay. more vicious. All, so? we had, all we said was shut the fuck up. Shut up. That's all we said. That shit was probably like a bitch and you're a bitch and you're a And don't you ever. And you know what? I don't like your perfume either. And that shit probably was, ooh, man. You ain't never been read by a gay man? Huh? You never been read by a gay man? I have been. I just I just was read by a gay man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You right. rather me curse you out of Kid Fury? Oh. Oof. Oof. Actually, it depends. <laughs> what do you mean? I'd rather you curse me out. Nah, gay men are way more creative when they when they cursing you out, bro. Way more. Yeah, yeah. Way yeah, more. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That suck my dick hit different when it comes from a dick. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is a real threat. I'll call the police, bro. If gay dude tells me to suck his dick, I'll call the police, bro. That was a real threat. That's a threat, bro. That is a real threat. I gotta call the police. I gotta call the authorities. I gotta do oh, something. You tell me man. suck your dick. You might try to make me do that. Uh, all I'm saying is when you publicly... You, what I'm saying is he didn't speak no differently to anybody on his staff than you just did to me or to Taylor regularly. Well, he, but that, well, it's, still, it's still the man-woman dynamic. <laughs> Say again? We're two men talking to each other. Yeah, but here, here's a perfect example. When we tease Taylor on the pod, we're not We don't yell to, at Taylor. We don't yell at her. We don't say, shut the fuck up, Taylor. We don't, but when she oh, walks dang. in the room, we act like there's a fucking dinosaur... <laughs> Is it an act? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know it was. An act. You do reenact the Jurassic this room, Park thing. A, this room you ain't as sturdy as the other one. Did you know what's crazy? You didn't tailor proof this room. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Taylor's over there. Did he stop? I thought you went to the store. Did he stop? <laughs> what do you mean Taylor's over there? Why, why do you think me. I'm sliding off the seat this way? I'm trying to stay on, it's but the room him. is at an angle now. It's just him projecting because he wants to be just as thick as me. That's all he Ooh. does. Ooh. Ooh, Taylor I said, see you. You know Taylor said it would take a man five years I went, to wife her. I reduced it to three, but still. Three, you're good for you. Good for you. That's not an early decision that you should be making. That's a decision for the rest of your life. Thank you. 100%. Wait, but I don't get it. What do you mean? I don't get it either. If you grow to love somebody and you into them, why does it matter if it's three years, a I year, I feel like it takes months? it. I feel like you need, it takes more than a year to get to know someone. Like you, living, you were not with your woman for a year. By probably a year at the most. I don't a know year, how long I was But you said them. you knew she was the one by From day two. Day two. We're a little bit different. So you want to make no, sure. Me, no, 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 we are different. different. I told her that in the car earlier. What'd she say? I said, all you're telling me is that you've never met somebody that you mesh with. Because it's an energy thing, right? That is true. You, you know that that woman was but the one. Let me ask you a question. How old are you? 
39. Oh, okay. Taylor is... I'm 31. Nobody's so. ever... So it is a little bit thought different. thought was the one. Yep. But maybe it's an important decision for I her. I have trust Charlemagne. issues. And I have a father. That's it. Like... <laughs> wait, wait. No, this is... You know, I'm the, the first I'm one I get, I but the father... father I bet you've I never asked to... your mom and dad how long they were together before they, like, hooked up. They were. They were together for about, like, four years or so. No, That's no, cool. no. They when, met in college. When did he hit? Why? Stop. Stop. You're not going to ask. Right, right, right. When did they first have sexual relations? I don't know. I bet you it was pretty fast. Whoa! Wait, time out. Whoa! Time out. Who gives a fuck how fast they had sex? Because that's all part of it. You, 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 it's not just you about You meet the with a person, though. you like them. Because you're saying you would have them. sex with somebody kind of quickly, but that no, doesn't I'm mean that you would have sex And also, you said it took them four years to get married. Four or five years, yeah. They were in college, though. Oh, that makes sense. You ain't, okay, that makes Taylor, sense. Taylor, you want to make sure that someone is committed to you. It's not even just that. I'm just trying to see if I'm going to like you enough to want to get married. And it's not only like, like you like them. It's also you want to make sure that they'll be with you through the thick and the thick. I don't like how this is a one. <laughs> <laughs> what is that phrase? Is that? I think you got it. Did I get it right? I think you got it. I think you got it. I think you got it. Yo, stop laughing like that, Ted. You're making me slide off. <laughs> Y'all think I'm jiggling because I'm laughing. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor move, bro. Yo, stop. <laughs> stop it right now. <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> Damn, the camera's tilted. I got <laughs> readjust the angles. Just show right. on, guys. I think Taylor. I think that when you meet a guy. If you like him, you should try to bag him as soon as possible, Taylor. Cause it's not hard to bag a nigga. Y'all are easy as fuck out here. But I'm here's saying, the thing. Wow. Wow. Once that person. I swear we're easy, but you like locking us easy. down for life is not easy. That's right. That's right. Just getting a nut is easy, but locking us down for life. That's right. Shit. And once okay. that person gets to know you. They're going to fall in love with you. Right. Talk that shit. Think okay. about how that shit. I guarantee you all my exes know. try and get back with me. Stop mm. playing with me. They all Follow. DM me. And they tell me, man, you have no idea how glad I am I escaped No that. doubt. They don't say that. That's that's not true. It's absolutely you know. true. What do my that's exes look like? True. What do my exes look like? I met one of them. The one I met at the Who? movie theater said, man, I'm so glad. God, no, I'm he didn't. Because <laughs> he's still trying to get back I had to a him. good one, but that was too him. harsh. Wait, can you whisper it to me? I was going to say he was glad he trimmed the fat, but that would be too crazy. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> that'd be too crazy. This guy's a maniac. I said that would be fucked yeah. up. You're not fat. That's yeah, why I said I, I didn't say it. I you think, are not fat. I didn't say it. You are not. That's my point. This guy's fat. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> fat. That's why I was just projecting, you He's projecting. <laughs> projecting. This motherfucker's projecting. projecting. He got anxiety about his thickness. <laughs> That's what he has. You got anxiety about your thickness. You trying to project that this over a skinny but, little Taylor. I love being thick. <laughs> yeah. We're going to call you skinny little I bored, boiler looking Taylor over there. I'm a stallion, <laughs> bro. Try. Yeah, you are skinny Lotto little. I don't put me in a rap and say, I'm a blunt. That's a big, thick ass blunt. Hey, yo. Wow, Charlotte. Wow, bro. <laughs> what you do? What is happening, dude? Yo, that Atlanta is crazy over here. Yo, there, bro. what the fuck? Do we need to drink a little bit? Yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> Who smokes <laughs> like that, bro? How you gonna suck dick without us? <laughs> Come on, bro. You gonna take all the hey, dick for you? Shit. <laughs> you smoke a blunt like this? Yo, son. You just got out of prison. Let me get that. <laughs> <laughs> A lighter with balls is crazy. That, that is, is wild, insane. yo. Taylor, you're um, nuts, man. You're nuts. But nah, the moral of the story is this is just business <laughs> at the end of the day. And you know, the other thing that people be talking about, they be talking about like, they be acting like these guys, like I hate when people say the things like, oh, this is why you got to have ownership so you can't get fired. Their firings are a little different than our firings, guys. Yeah. These guys, like Donald, Donald Lemon is still owed $20 million on his contract. Oh. Wow. oh. He's going to get his money. Oh, you know what I'm saying? There ain't no telling how much Tucker Carlson is offered. It's, it's le got left on his deal. Oh. But he's going to get his money. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah. going to get a payout. They're not just going to be, they're not going to just walk away from CNN. They're going to get a payout. They're going to sign NDAs, all of that type of shit. Nobody's not going to sign the NDA because they're going to want to get their severance. And it's just a, retire. It's, it's a generational wealth type of severance, yeah. bro. This is like, the stop. best situation stop. possible. Question. Stop. Yeah, they all going to walk away with a bag, man. It, it's just interesting, though, when I see people say things like, you know, like I, I saw, I saw, and salute to my man D.L. Hughley, I saw D.L. Hughley talk about the difference in how they announced 
both announcements. They was like, you know, they said uh, Fox parted ways with Tucker, but you know, CNN basically Fox. was like, but that's not true. The first thing that the CNN said was we parted ways mm -hmm. with Don Lemon and we're, we're going to be cheering for him on his future endeavors. And uh, then Don he, went on Twitter yeah. and was like, he was shocked and he was surprised and everything else. And then CNN came back and was like, that's simply not true. We gave Don an opportunity to talk to management and he chose not to talk to us. He chose to run mm. the Twitter. You know what I mean? So it's like Don is the one that went out there and say, said, I got fired I was surprised. Yeah, and then did the same thing, said we parted ways with him, yada, yada, yada. We wish him the best. We're cheering for him from the sideline. It's just strange, man. Anything and, anything to the fact that it happened on the same day? I don't know. I'd be wondering about that type of shit, too. That's the type of shit be making you think it's a whole big conspiracy yeah. going on, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Are we at the end of a quarter? Are we at the know. end of an economic quarter? Are we? What is it, April going into May? Maybe. I so think maybe four, this yeah, I think is it might be first, I think first quarter might just be over. Getting debt off the books could increase stock price, could affect stock price in some way. No, it's, Mar it's through March. Through March. So this is a brand new quarter that we're in right now. Yeah. yeah. Q2 starts April 1st. Gotcha. Okay. That's what Lemon said. Don said in his statement, I was informed this morning by my agent that I have been terminated by CNN. I am stunned. After 17 years at CNN, I would have thought that someone in management would have had the DC to tell me directly. CNN posted before that that they just, uh, they parted ways and they was cheering for him. Hmm. But, you know, who knows, man? They got, the, it was crazy. They both got the same lawyer. Brian Friedman. Brian Friedman going to get paid. Brian, yep, Brian, Carlson and Lemon are retaining Brian Friedman services to Brian. Uh, Brian is the famed attorney who worked to help Megyn Kelly secure around $30 million from M NBC News after she decided to make her exit from the network back in 2019. Shout out to Megyn, bro. Brian Friedman about to get Don Lemon and Tucker Carlson paid. <laughs> Tucker, I mean, Don got like $20 million left on his contract. I don't know how much. Tucker has. And look, I don't know what allegations are true and what allegations are not true. I just know that when, oh. you, when you have a whole article like Variety wrote, that's not good for you. Hold on. When you have money left on your, when you're in a car accident, you get what, what's called a settlement. That's right. Mm -hmm. A settlement is tax-free. It is not income. It is what someone believes you're owed. Mm -hmm. So that $10 million you get in a car accident settlement is really like getting paid $20 million. Because assume the government would take 50% of taxes. Mm -hmm. Okay. When... That shit is robbery, man. Well, yes. But we'll talk to, about that later. The, what I'm wondering here is when they figure out the deal with what both of them get paid, do they get a settlement from the network? And if that is the case... I'm sure. They could get a settlement for $10 million which is actually 20 million if he was getting revenue because he wouldn't have to pay taxes or because they're paying him what he would make is that money considered income. They're probably just going to pay him the rest of his contract, which is great. But it, what I'm saying is if they're marking it as a settlement, they can pay him half the amount he was going to get. They get to save money and he also saves money because the tax men get, get nothing. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I, yeah, I don't know how that works. I don't know. But either way, I know he's about to get paid. He's mm. getting, get, I mean, think about it. He's getting, a, you know, 20 million might have been over the next couple of years. If you get that as a lump sum, what the fuck? Yeah. You know what I mean? You go live your life. Yeah. You know what I mean? You think Megan Kelly tripping? Yeah. You know, <laughs> Megan got her 30 million. She probably started a podcast somewhere. She minded her goddamn business. She's chilling. Living She's her chilling. life, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but what salute to them. Got? What else we got, man? What else we got, Taylor Gang? Taylor Gang. Oh, my God. Let's talk about Whoa. this fight. You Did you watch the fight? You want to pay some bills? Yeah, let's pay some bills. What, who do we got today? Salute to Talkspace, man. Uh, we love Talkspace, man. You know, I'm a big proponent of therapy, and I think everybody should have somebody to talk to, whether it's a therapist, psychiatrist, whatever it is. And I don't know where you are in your mental health journey, but no matter where you are, talking to a therapist who is trained to help can make a huge difference. They can help you find a new outlook on life and help you recover your energy, confidence, and joy. At Talkspace, you can find the right therapist with the right training for you. Talkspace is a new, more convenient way to find a therapist and to meet with them. Everything 
everything is done online. You find the therapist you feel closest to. You meet virtually wherever you're most comfortable on your schedule. So there's no missed work or scheduling child care for an appointment or therapy designed for your life. Talkspace is private, secure, affordable, and your Talkspace therapist is always accessible to you. When you've met your therapy goals or simply want to cancel, Talkspace has a simple cancellation process and will work with you to get a prorated refund for unused time if applicable. Talkspace is there for you to make your life better. If you have issues that come up, you don't have to wait for your next appointment. You can message your Talkspace therapist anytime through the app or schedule a live session if you need some face time, okay? Talkspace has thousands of therapists with all kinds of specialties. There's someone who's exactly right for you, and Talkspace makes it easy for you both to connect. Looking to renew and rejuvenate your life? Look to Talkspace, and now get $100 off your first month when you go to Talkspace.com slash idiots to match with your dedicated therapist. Go to Talkspace.com slash idiots now to get $100 off. This episode is also brought to you oh. by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage your audience, and sell anything your products content you create and even your time you need and i repeat this you need 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 a website if you have a business you need a website it is not legit without a website i cannot think of one legitimate business that does not have a website so make sure if you have a business you have a place online squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand with member areas you can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, and newsletters. You can create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every send. You Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords or popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with the offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Now let's get back to the show. We got church announcements, Shotzi. Yes, sir. I got some shows coming up. Uh, man, shout out to everybody out there in uh, Cali that uh, sold out the shows in uh, Temecula, California, and uh, Reno. We're trying to see if we can add another show to Reno. We got a few tickets left to Gary, Indiana, uh, and then uh, Calgary. Um, as well, theandrewschultz.com. Go check those out. We'll be adding more shows in different cities soon. Very excited to be back on the road this summer. And thank you guys so much for gobbling up those tickets so fast. I appreciate y'all. Uh Charlemagne. Oh, uh, damn. My church announcements. What do I got? Um, make sure you go check out Summer of 85 and Finding Tamika on Audible. Um, brought to you by SBH Productions. Make sure you go get Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built. Go get Anita Kopak, Shallow Waters, uh, all available via Black Privilege Publishing, Simon & Schuster. Can't wait to announce uh, what, what titles. We got two titles coming out. Uh, later this year, man, one of them I really, really, I mean, both of them I really can't wait to announce, but one of them, man, when, when we when we announce it, you'll understand why uh, it means so much to me. Um, damn, I don't really have no, ch oh, I'm, I'm hosting The Daily Show the week of May 15th. Yes, yeah. you are. The week of May 15th, I'm hosting uh, The Daily Show on Comedy Central, so, you know. How you feel, what's the vibes? You know what's so interesting about shows like The Daily Show? Shows like The Daily Show, you realize they're just for a whole other audience. Mm. So, like, even the people that have come up to me thus far, you know, just to be like, <clears throat> if I, did I hear right, are you hosting The Daily Show on the week of the 15th? It's like old white people. <laughs> like, it's just it's the truth to the matter, you yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah. it's just, it's just, it's just, it's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna go out there and, you know, see who I piss off that week. Yeah. So. You know, yeah. got a little game plan. Yeah, got a little game plan. I like it. You, know, you got to have a target. You got to have some targets you want to go after. Mm -hmm. um, and then even just the guests, right? Like, that's, oh, that's, do you do you know the guests already? I don't know all the guests. I know who I've who I've said I want on the show that week. Mm. Uh, pretty much all of them 
have confirmed with me. Okay. Uh, they got to confirm with the Booker Ooh. at oh, the shit. Daily Show. Got you. Um, okay. But yeah, I can't wait. You know, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a do what I do. You know, I like to mix the culture with, you know, politics and, you know, of course, I'm, I'm going to have some mental health conversations. It's going to be fun. I'm just going to go out there and have fun, man. Yeah. Week of May 15th. I'm excited for that, man. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Me. I think that you go out there and you'll kill it. And uh, I think you can have a very unique spin. Um, well, the unique spin is just, you know what? I'm not going to, we'll talk about it. Javante yeah. um, <laughs> Davis. This kid is special, man. Wow. And, and Ryan Garcia. This fight went exactly the way I thought it was going to go. This kid is special. Javante is wow. special. It went exactly the way, the way I thought it was going to go. I, the, only, the only critique I had of the fight, I had Tank winning, had Tank you know, in a stoppage yard knockout, because you know Ryan's jaw is weak, his chin is weak. But what I what I thought is, if Tank can take Ryan's power, because of Tank's, I mean, because of Ryan's reach, mm. right? And he is fast and he is strong. If Tank can take his power, I said it was going to be a, 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 a easy, easy night for Tank and a long night. For Ryan and yeah. yo, Ryan didn't even use none of his advantages. <laughs> well, I think I think you got to give credit to Tank for taking them away, taking them away, right? I mean, yeah. this kid is is really special. Tank is is really truly special. I mean, he's one of the smartest fighters I've ever seen. His IQ is through the roof. Yeah, like I think the only and the only the only person that I want to see him fight, to be completely honest, is Lomachenko because I just want to see those masterful IQs go head to head. Nice, mm -hmm. like three. I want to see actually four. What are you talking about? Like Devin Haney or Shakur Stevenson? I want to see Devin. I want to see Shakur. I want to see Lomachenko. I want to see uh, uh, Lopez. Tiafima Lopez. Yeah, sure. yeah. I mean, there's a lot of good guys that Tank can go at, and I, I hope that he fights the winner of Lomachenko, Devin Haney. I don't know if Lomachenko's beating Devin Haney, though, bro. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Another tough fight, for sure. Devin Haney, very fucking talented. Very talented, as well. man. Very but, talented. But this guy, Tank, I mean... The way that he digests information, that first round, he's just kind of like seeing what you're throwing. Okay. After the first or second round, he knew every single thing that Ryan Garcia was going to do. Every once in a while, Ryan would catch him off guard with like a right hand because Ryan was hesitant to throw that right hand. He's a very left-hand dominant mm -hmm. fighter. And But Tank does this amazing thing. His level-changing ability. I haven't seen anybody do this in boxing that well. I've seen people move side to side. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen people use up and down as effectively as Tank uses it. So Tank has these incredible like fast twitch muscle fibers in his legs or something, but he can squat and get back up That's right. to position lightning speed. Mike so used to do that. Say again. Mike could use. Mike used to. Yeah, do Mike. That. But also, if you even think about Mike, he did have that ability. But Mike is coming in like this, moving yeah. side to side. He's not, Mike's not. Mike wasn't as good a boxer as Javante Davis. Is. I mean, the way that he counter punches. So look, if you look at look at Bounce. both knockouts, right? Both knockouts are from a slip and like a little bit of a squat, and then a quick left hand that he counters with. So, well, I think that uh, yeah, this one is going to be a little bit. This is and. Subscribe, would you? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. Oh, look, do you see how that little squat right there? That liver punch, boy. That liver punch. Yeah. His ass the fuck down. Amazing. And what's so crazy, we, I, I, we're watching the fight, and I'm like, with, it, when he, in the second round when Ryan like started going crazy, I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? Yeah. He's going to run right into something. Like, yeah. that is the worst thing to do to Tank. He thought he could handle it. And he yeah. ran right into it. Boom. Exactly. Floor. He's an unbelievably accurate counterpuncher as well. Like, if you look at the accuracy on both of those shots, that liver shot that he hit was perfect, and then when he uh, caught him with the same left hand, yo, Tank stayed low job. majority of the fight. Look at it, majority of the fight. He just fucking his body up. I'm watching. Yeah. We're watching the fight. I'm like, yo, he's fucking his yeah. body up. Mm -hmm. And I was watching the fight with like my wife and and Dolly, and they don't watch boxing. Yeah. And so I'm sitting there like, me, me, me I'm like, yo, this shit is over. Like I'm, I'm like, yo, this shit is over. And they're, they're like, like, what are you talking? They're like, about? no, it's not. I'm like. <sighs> Women. Yeah. God damn it. I'm like, listen, he's fucking him up. He's fucking his body up. Like, this guy, is, he's, he's gassed out. I said, by seventh, eighth round, it's a wrap. Yeah. He, seventh yeah. round, liver shot, bong. He got, he made Ryan very uh, scared to throw. 
Everything Ryan was throwing, he was looking like he was trying to protect himself. After. Second round after he went down, Ryan yeah. was like, I'm not doing this shit no if more. If you notice, like, there's a lot of points in time where Ryan would defend a counterpunch and he would just kind of put both of his mitts up on his face and then yeah. bend over. It almost looked like he was, like, stopping the fight a few different times. Yeah. Did you guys notice that? Yeah. And I think that he was just catching him with those counters to his face and then look at this shot. He knew it was oh. over right then and then. Watch, there. How he, watch how he gets up and walks through the ring. Like, watch. He's like, he's like. Watch how he gets up. He's like, yeah. he gets up. He's like, Dad, do I have to go back out there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and I like Ryan. Levels. I think Ryan is good, but I don't think Ryan w had no business in the ring with him. Yeah, right great. Now. He's a great kid. Great and dude. Great for the sport of boxing. He made a good adjustment early. That's Who? when uh, Who? Ryan. I ain't see it. So, like first two rounds, uh, Davis was getting just getting the straight right through. And so that's when uh, Ryan put both of his arms up, and yeah. then that's when Davis just started attacking his body crazy, and he yeah. had Beating nothing his body for that. up, fucking he him had up, nothing man. for that after that, yeah. fucking him up, man. But listen, I gotta see Tank. I gotta see Tank fight the winner, of Lomachenko Haney, because you know Tank don't really got no belts, man. Haney got all the belts. Oh wow, it's funny. Yeah. He's the biggest name. People in forget this is no. This this wasn't even a title fight. Isn't that crazy? Tank Garcia wasn't even a title fight. This is the biggest like, name in boxing right here. Uh, yeah, There's nah. not even, it's not even close. Fury, uh, Fury, yeah, Fury, Fury, Tyson Fury, Fury, Fury. Fury. Yeah. But yeah. I think, I think for whatever reason, Tank just cracked the top ten, the pound for pound best boxer. I mean, wow. I don't understand it. How? I don't understand it. But maybe I guess he hasn't fought elite guys. I'm trying to think the other people he fought. He had a rough fight against a guy named Pitbull Cruz. Some people say that, uh, that Cruz yeah. could have gotten that one, and uh, who knows? But I think the way that you fight Tank is you apply pressure. But you have dangerous. To, it's very dangerous. If you can't take the shot because he's gonna land either a left uppercut or he's gonna land this like it's not even yeah, knockout power is crazy. Yeah, it's like it's weird. It's like a left, even though it's his like I guess power punching hand, it's like almost like a left hook. He throws it at a really weird angle, but it's yeah. a brilliant shot. And uh Garcia needed to use the jab more. Like when yeah. you have that height and reach advantage, you yeah. keep them away with the jab. Yeah, he was just show, he was what Joe said is Davis. true though. It's like Tank shut that shit down. Yeah, either either, either Ryan didn't use it. Or it seemed like he used it in the first round though. Yeah, and he would throw it. He kept throwing it. It's just he couldn't get that hook off. He couldn't land the hook at all. And then Ryan was trying to bait Tank a little bit because Ryan likes to counter with a hook. Mm. So when he was trying to draw Tank in, you're not going to beat Tank on speed. Right, Tank is faster, so you're. Tra I know it sounds crazy to say because Ryan's so fast, but he is a faster counterpuncher. So it was a dangerous game to play. I mean, look at that. Like if you look at the first knockdown, Ryan tries to kind of invite him in a little bit, and Boom. then God. Tank counters the hook. Yeah. It was crazy. I think Ryan was saying he was going to knock Tank out in two rounds. Mm. So I think in the second round he went for it, uh, and he paid for going for it. Uh, all right, what else we got, yeah. man? Oof, that was a great fight, though. It was so much fun to watch. I think it was fun because it was a Saturday night. It was a super fight, man. If you're a boxing fan. Oh, it's great. You and they went after it. it. And it was tactical. And, yeah. And both of them have power. And watching Tank is so much fun because you know he has the power to end it at any point in time. The reason heavyweight boxing is so exciting, and I think the reason why UFC is often so exciting. Somebody might die. Any point in time. Mm -hmm. So you know one punch has to land for the whole fight to change. Sometimes when you have fights that neither guy can hurt one another, yeah. I can see why the audience starts to think that they're boring. You have to have like a real appreciation for boxing to love like a Floyd Mayweather because you have to like the defensive style, you have to love the counterpunching, you have to love what he's doing to his opponent. For the casual fan... We like knockouts, baby. That's it. Casual fan want to see somebody bleed. That's it. Hit the fucking Hit the floor. fucking canvas, yeah. You know what I mean? 100%. Scroll back up, Taylor, because I'm interested in Pete Davidson being mad at a fan. This was really unfair. To the who? fan, the, to, to, to Pete. The fan was being a complete asshole. We don't know what he him. said to Pete. No, I didn't no. even ask him. No, even before that, like, the fan is hugging on him constantly. They just showed the last hug. Like, look at that's one time he goes for the hug. Let me see your dick, bro. Yo, let me see your dick. <laughs> Two times goes yo, for the hug. Yo, let me see your dick, yo. 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 Why they call you PDD, yo? Yo, three really times. Me, yo? yo, get the fuck off me, that's yo. That's three times, bro. The that's, fuck you mean, yo? That's three times, yo. The fuck you mean? <laughs> By the way, I didn't even see that. I only saw the end part. You also saw the yeah. last one, so it looks yeah, like- I didn't see all that shit. Yeah. The last one looks like Peach is pushing this old man, but yeah. if you see the whole video, the old man is a weirdo. And we don't know what the old man is saying. Don't matter what he said. Don't I, hug me. I'm a good lip reader, bro. I hey. see him asking about the glizzy. This guy's great. He's That's what like, you would be asking. He's like, yo, you got the glizzy? Yeah. 
Yo, you really got the 10 inch glizzy. <laughs> Yo, you can get sturdy with the glizzy. Remember, it's New York. Yo, you can get sturdy with the glizzy. Yo, let me see you in some Tim's with the glizzy out, yo. <laughs> yo, that is yo, yo, crazy. yo, yo. Your glizzy is 10 inches. Yo, get the fuck off me, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fuck is wrong? Why did Pete point at his mouth? That's weird. <laughs> That's the only thing I don't understand. Like, maybe the dude was like, yo, your shit ain't that big. Yo, your shit ain't that big, yo. Your shit ain't that big. Who the fuck you talking to? Me! <laughs> and by the way, Pete don't bother nobody. Pete is a calm, cool kid. So that guy must have been saying some wild shit to my guy, man. By the way, this is this is one of those things where I'm glad the internet exists because if it was just one media outlet that got the video and only played the last part, you think Pete was being an asshole? I exactly. never saw that. I only saw the last part. Yeah, I didn't know that he kept doing that shit. Yo. This is why. Yeah, this is one of those things where it's like, or yeah, I want to know what the fuck was he saying to Pete, yo? Yo, what Kim shit smell like, yo? Yeah. Ask about what my shit smells like. <laughs> I can smell good too. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to know why he pointed at himself, yo. You got to know gotta why he pointed at himself. Salute to my guy, Pete. What if he thought he was someone else? What if he thought Pete was a different dude? Clearly, right? I, like, you don't hug up on a... You either really love a person yeah. or you think that's your friend. Who did, who did he think it was? Adam Sandler? Yo, what if he's like... Yo, Adam, your skin looks great, bro. Yo, Adam, I didn't realize bro. you're this tall. He's like, I'm fucking <laughs> Pete Davis. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Petey fucking D. By the way, the Knicks got a path to the finals, bro. Talk that shit. I'm trying talk to talk that you. shit, my boy. The Knicks up three talk points right shit. now. Mm -hmm. They're going to finish off. I love delusional Cowboys Cleveland. fans taking their I'm delusion I'm telling to the you, Knicks. you see what's happening in the league? It's not it's, delusion. This is it could actually, potentially be a New York Knicks Los Angeles Lakers finals. Yeah. That's what's gonna happen. Even though I think the Warriors are gonna repeat. I'm well, uh, that's what I picked at the beginning of the year, so I'm sticking to that. But it could be a New York Knicks Lakers finals. It's Everybody's gonna be fucking that. hurt. Son, Jimmy is him. Who's Jimmy Butler? J did you see the game Jimmy put up last night? Knicks, Knicks beat the Heat in six. We want the Heat. We do not want to go up against Giannis. Nick, but Giannis, well, Giannis is, hurt. is hurt. That's what I'm saying. Giannis I'm still hooping, though. Damn, he played really. last <laughs> night. It doesn't matter. He's going to be healed by the time we play him. That's why I, I want the Heat when they're beating down nah, old you're right. legs. You're right. Give me old legs. You're yo. right. Mm. You're right. Give me old legs. Now, Jimmy is a dog. Yeah. He's an absolute animal. Yeah. Like, more respect to him than fucking to anybody else in the league right now. It's crazy. He just said, give me that. I think in the first quarter, he had 20 points, and he went from like 9 of 10 shooting. 22. 22 in the 22 point. Nine, I mean, just an absolute animal. They went down. Everybody thought they were out of it. He put them on their back again. Mm. Anyway. What people aren't seeing about the Knicks, the Knicks have a true leader now. Jalen Brunson. True leader. Yeah. Absolute true leader. He's the difference between the Dallas Mavericks going to the Western Conference Finals last year yep. and not even making the fucking play in this year. Mm. They got a scorer in R.J. Barrett. They got another scorer in Julius Randle when he's on. Mm -hmm. And they play good defense. The Knicks have an identity. Let me tell you I something. I think the Knicks can go to the NBA Finals. Let me tell you something. You, you are neglecting to mention a very important component to this team, and that is Josh Hart. Josh be balling. I watched that playoff balling. game. Balling. First of all, New Yorkers are going to fall in love with this kid. They already have, but this is like the perfect New York Nick. We love a go after it, get hungry, get busy type dude. Josh Hart had three offensive rebounds in a row in the last like three or four minutes of that game. It was amazing to see him get extra possessions for that. We're talking to a guy, how, how tall is Josh Hart? Six, four tops. Six five six six. Okay, I don't even know if he's six six, right. but whatever, it doesn't matter. Maybe he is. What I'm saying is he was getting busy on those offensive boards, creating alternative possessions for the Knicks so we could actually win this game. Huge, big, and he's going. I'm playing 48 minutes. There's a great little cutaway where Thibodeau pulls him aside. He takes him off. He goes, "I'm resting you for 60 seconds. You right back in there." And he looks right at Tibbs and he goes, "I play all 48." Mm. New Yorkers, we mm. love that. Damn, Give us your knees. Give us your Achilles. Damn. Give us everything. Give us your mouth. You, <laughs> you are different now, bro. <laughs> you are. Two more Black Effect podcasts <laughs> in Atlanta. <laughs> you going to be on the read. <laughs> what you mean? You know what I mean, bro. Uh, what else we got, Taylor gang? <laughs> yeah, we got Bill Jackson. 
Big Philly. Did not like BLM logos on the court. Let's hear what Phil Jackson had to say. It wasn't that. only that. You did, you giving this a bad read. I don't know. I just read the headline, man. Listen to what he said. He said he doesn't like how many blacks there are in the league. <laughs> he would have never won a championship without him. Immediately nah, I, from the time you stopped coaching. No, I didn't. I watched some of the game evolve and decided... And they went into the lockout year and they did something that was kind of wanky. They did a bubble down in Orlando mm -hmm. and all the teams that could qualify mm -hmm. went down there and mm -hmm. stayed down there. Mm -hmm. No audience. And they had things on their back like, you know, justice. And uh, yeah, I made a little funny thing like, uh, you know, justice just went to the basket and uh, equal opportunity just knocked him down. I don't remember that. And uh, somebody, uh, I had another name for a guy who has jersey in the back of a jersey he had some other slogan so my grandkids thought that was pretty funny to to, to play up those names so I, I i couldn't watch that and then lakers won actually they they won that year and uh do you feel like it just made little of the game like it made it like a sideshow what do you think it was that turned you off well it was it was uh they even had slogans on the floor on the baseline uh, it was catering. It was trying to cater to an audience or trying to bring a certain audience into play. And it, they didn't know it was turning other people off, you know? Mm -hmm. People, people want to see sports as non-political. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had, we've had a lot of different type of uh, players that have gone on to be, like, you know, Bill Bradley was a senator, number of baseball players have been representatives and senators and political but their politics stay out of the game yeah it's separate. not it doesn't it's separate. need to be there he should have led with that he should have led with uh keep politics out of the game i just want to see people play sports yeah because as a coach who you know wouldn't be who he is without players especially black players he has to understand the nba is a player's league and if the players decide that's what they want to do, if that's what they want to put on their jerseys, if that's what they want to put, you know, on the sidelines, so be it. I, I think there's an interesting thing that that happens with people. Uh, they want politics out of sports or out of their life when it's not their politics. And mm -hmm. when it's your politics, you're 100% okay with it. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. Part of a guy who lives in Montana, right, Cons a Montana conservative. A Montana conservative is like, get out of my business, government. Let me do my thing. I come here to be free. I have my land. Mm -hmm. I can handle all my shit. I don't need your permission for anything. I just want my complete freedom. So he's looking at this and he's going, wow, politics is now inserted into this game. And part of his identity and, and one of the things that he's virtuous about is his own freedom to express himself in whatever fucking way he wants. And he's probably asked his players to do that, right? He's having his players read Native American books and do ran random rituals. And yeah. he's doing all these things, right? To hopefully, he's pushing his beliefs on his players 100% mm -hmm. and uh, hoping that it will lead them to victory. He wanted them to buy into the Zen, the Zen lifestyle. His, his culture, his yeah. politics or whatever. And it worked tremendously. But I think that this is really just a function of like, don't, what is that, uh, that saying? Don't tread on me. But- you're fine if someone's treading on you with the shit that you like. It's when it's the shit that you don't like is in your face. You're like, ugh, this is annoying. For example, if your neighbor is playing music, right, and it's your favorite music, you're like, that motherfucker got great taste. If your neighbor is playing music that you hate, you're like, this neighbor is an asshole. He's inconsiderate. Yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't care about anybody in the building, and he's selfish. So I think we just found out that, you know, Phil is a... Uh, Phil is a political dude. And, and we he's never old. You're probably at the point where he's so old, everything fucking bothers him if it's not the way it used to be. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. cause there's no way you're gonna sit here and tell me that somebody having social justice on the back of their jersey bothered you when you were the coach for Mr. World Peace. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, like, that's a good ass point. Like, they were already on. doing that before. Like they yeah. were doing like, and, and they were really saying you were fine. Metal world peace. You were fine when World Peace hit a three out of nowhere that saved you a championship. <laughs> yeah. That was okay. Right? I don't remember no I don't remember, I don't remember no announcers saying equality drove to the basket. 
Uh, trust me, we were tuned into the NBA then because wasn't shit else on television. But people were putting in goofy shit. I remember that, but I don't remember announcers yeah, saying like social yeah. justice just got a rebound. Announcers were still calling the players by yeah, their I actual remember names. that shit. Yeah, so. yeah for yeah. sure. I think yeah. I mean, he's also just old. This is what happens to old people, right? They just go, oh, the world is changing, and I don't like it. I can't wait to see what I hate at seventy something. I know you got all your hate out your system already. No. I mean, you've been donkey of the day for the last decade. Donkey of the day isn't about hate, though. Donkey of the day is just giving people the credit they deserve for being stupid. Sometimes I change my mind during donkey of the day. Like, I gave donkey of the day today to a woman who quit being a teacher to be a porn star. And then you change your mind? And, and she said, God told her to do it. In wow. the middle of it, I'm like, why? How do I know what God told her to do? Why would God make her do that? She said she's performing a service, and it's kind of true, bro. No, what service? This what is... do you mean? We all watch porn. No, we don't. It's yes, bad. we do. You porn love it. Bad. You love it. It's you bad, jerk bro. off to it. You getting a stiffy right now thinking about it. It does make you get a stiffy. Definitely. And it is good jerk off material, but it's just a bad thing. Like, there's nobody that does porn and, and, and uh, is proud that they did it. Every you person, sure? every person that does porn regrets it. You ask every single one of them later on in life, they're like, "I wish I never did that." And nobody that has success goes into it. Nobody that's famous, rich, and has accomplished things in life goes, "I think I'd like to do porn now." It, 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 and that's how you know that it's not. Name a person that is successful, rich, and we accomplished. We have OnlyFans now, right? OnlyFans isn't porn. Might as well. It can I mean, be people porn. are getting naked and everything else, and they are fucking. But name the though. name a person that's successful, accomplished, and rich that is that is doing an OnlyFans, right? Bad. What's that girl's name? Bad baby or whatever. She ain't on there no she, more. She she needs she's money not on there no more. No, she's on it. So even if she's she's doing it for money, like they're doing it because they need money. That's it. If they didn't need money, they wouldn't do it. Yeah, her songs were just slapping. It was she didn't she didn't really have anything going for her music wise, so. Yeah, it's the easiest. Listen, as a woman, the easiest way for you to make money is by selling your body in some way. Depends because if people want to see you or not. That is also true. That's the problem. As a, as a beautiful woman or a famous woman, yeah. the easiest way that you can make money is by selling your body. And as a woman in general, the easiest way that you want to make you can make money is by selling your body. Showing off that holy trinity. Bang. Mm. <laughs> so. You know what the holy trinity is. Bang, bang. Bang. Oh, Bang. 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 Oh, you don't even uh, put titties in the Holy Trinity? No. You're not into titties. Oh. Holy. That's good. Uh, that got, oh. Uh, that come guy, on. Uh, you didn't Why think you that in the beginning? That? You didn't no. think that in the beginning, but that guy's good. <laughs> that guy's good. <laughs> I know good. He did. Nah, that guy's good. You didn't know that when you first said it? I did. No, you didn't. You said holy. it enough times and then it hit. <laughs> holy Trinity. Anyway. All that shit, look, and call me Phil Jackson if you want, but all that shit is wrong. And I'm not saying you shouldn't be allowed to do wrong shit, but it's not, it's no, nothing we should be proud of, and it's nothing that you, it is something you're absolutely going to regret when you get older. Yo, salute to all the porn stars out yeah. there, man. We appreciate your service, man. Yeah. Nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> we appreciate your Every service, Every one of them regrets man. it. Yo, watch these porn stars when they leave porn, they're like, oh my God, these horrible traumatic things happened to me. It's like. Yo, the church says come as you are. The church is going to accept you? As a teacher, she wasn't coming enough, so she decided to be a porn star. Mm -hmm. You think they come in in porn? Yes, the squatters? That's not come, bro. You don't think so? No. Biden running again? Joe Biden? Man, Biden. If you, listen, when you start your uh, a video off saying uh, whatever, you put out your statement and it says fucking... Um, you're in a, you're in condition to run. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. Like, like, Democrats are goofies, bro. Look how goofy y'all are. Y'all really are. Y'all really judge Trump and people who like Trump when you got this motherfucker running again. What did he say? Freedom. Oh Jesus. Personal freedom is fundamental to who we are as Americans. There's nothing more important. Nothing more sacred. That's been the work of my first term to fight for our democracy. America's a shambles, I don't give a fuck what he said. To protect our rights, to make sure that everyone in this country is treated equally and that everyone is given a fair shot at I'm not listening it. to the three minutes of this shit, yo. The world is in but shambles. You know, around the country. Aren't you embarrassed to be a Democrat? America bro? is in sh I'm not a Democrat. So, yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. I'm not a Republican either. Yeah, boy. I'm nothing. Yeah, I'm not saying you gotta be a Republican. I'm, a, I'm just out here. I just what about you, Chris? You like uh, you like Biden? You voting for Biden again? Uh, I think we could use a fresh new uh, 
person on the scene. That's why it's whack that the DNC won't let nobody prime. They won't do no primaries next year, man. Do a fucking primary debate. They pussy. Put Joe Biden up on that stage with Bobby Kennedy, who's challenging him, and Marianne Williamson, and whoever steps up to the plate, and let's have a fucking discussion, yo. What else we got? Taylor Gang. Man mad at Tyler for crying on the plane. Ah, he's a sucker. Yeah. If, if that woman was on the plane with her husband, he wouldn't play with her like that. Different situation. All you right. You know what I'm saying? What else? What, what else, else we, we got, got, Taylor? Oh, this is interesting. Designer masturbated on a plane. He said he wasn't high. He wasn't under the influence or nothing. He said it was because of mental health issues he's currently facing. He was charged for allegedly masturbating on the plane. He's been hit with an indecent exposure charge. His court hearing will be scheduled soon. Wait, was he in his seat? He said, I am ashamed of my actions that happened on that plane. I landed back in the States and admitting myself to a facility to help me. I will be canceling all of my shows and any obligations until further notice. Mental health is real, guys. Please pray for me. If you're not feeling like yourself, please get help. Didn't he say something to the doctors too? According to legal docs, Flight attendants allegedly told him multiple times to stop, and he eventually was taken to the back of the plane where he was monitored by two of his friends. The FBI affidavit says a jar of Vaseline <laughs> dropped into the aisle as he was getting up to switch seats. First of all, <laughs> son. First of all, how you got a jar onto the plane? Who Isn't jerks that... off of Vaseline? No, that's I don't fire. think nobody's ever jerked off of Vaseline in the history of life. A vino is the best. I used to jerk off of Vaseline when I was. A I child. don't believe that. In really? The, with the family tub. I bet you never nutted. I did not every single time. I do really? two a days. I go back to back. Damn. Damn. Isn't it harder? No, it's soft. Damn. It's smooth. It, it's the best. I thought of it. It's like saliva on steroids. Yeah, I've tried I've tried Vaseline. I didn't like it. I like What? It. No. What do I, you use? A vino. <laughs> a vino or jergens. Jerk with the jergens. Yeah. Jerk with the jerkins. I'm jacking off with jerkins. Jacking off with jerkins. But this whole jerking bottle of jerk. Viagra isn't working. Jerking what was with that? Jerkin. Jerkin. Somebody said that for real? Uh, Eminem. Eminem said it. Jerking with the jerkins? No, no, no. What no. he said. I'm what? jacking off with jerkins and I'm jerking, but this whole bottle of Viagra isn't working. Jesus Christ. You got to be a madman to take Viagra and jack off. Yo, time, that bro. is self. You're wild. That's self indulgent, bro. <laughs> Who that got is... that kind of time? Yeah. Uh, what else? What did he say? Oh, after landing in Minneapolis, authorities said they spoke with this guy <laughs> who told them guy. it all happened. It's just a fascinating human. <laughs> it all happened. It's just a fascinating human. <laughs> this is a two-time New York Times bestseller. Just read Minneapolis. Minneapolis. He put four more letters into a word that doesn't have them. Minneapolis. What okay, is it? go. After landing in Minneapolis... Authorities say they spoke with designer who told them it all happened because he really didn't get much cootie while in Japan and was brick hard when he got on the plane. This guy, this guy right here. That's your excuse? I ain't got no pussy in Japan so I had to be dead Yo, on the flight. I ain't make shit up. He really said that. No way. Yo, how you can't get pussy in Japan? Don't they sell it in Japan, Chris? They sell it all. They sell it all. Don't clean the fifth, Chris. Come on, Chris. 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 What? Don't they Chris. Sell Do they sell pussy in Japan or not, Chris? Be honest. I think sex is sold everywhere in the world. Yeah. But isn't no, whoa, it a little whoa, bit whoa, more? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Isn't, it a little bit, it? isn't it a little bit more in Japan? I, no, I don't think so, actually. What it's you not? mean, bro? Yes, you could buy a little Japanese pussy out there. What a lady voice. Such a the way he draws it is crazy. Son, 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 why y'all laughing? Why y'all laughing? Come on, bro. Oh, oh man. You know you can. Design a goddamn, that is a hell. But you know what? That's an honest excuse, man. What you mean is an honest excuse? That's an honest excuse, man. Why was you jacking off in the plane? I was horny as shit. I ain't getting no pussy, man. I walked on the plane brick hard. Bro. Go in the bathroom at least, bro. Yeah, that's crazy he did it in his seat. Because no. you could go to the bathroom and just be Word dick. is wrong. Yeah, yeah. But shit. the fact that he didn't get no pussy in Japan is quite astonishing. Never been to Japan, so I don't know how easy it is to get pussy out there. Bro, you can get pussy out there in Japan, bro. For real? Hell yeah. Is it on the body? What does that mean? Is it on the body? Oh, is it at the meat market? <laughs> like, what do you, you, what do you slab mean? Slab lips? No. What? Are you saying like you can fuck robots or some shit? No, like I actually can go buy a vagina lip. 
I mean, Eat. if there was a place that you could do it, yeah. it would be Japan. But yeah. no, I'm saying I'm I'm pretty sure you can hire prostitutes out there in Japan and have sex with their vaginas. They definitely have the VR robots out there, though. One hundred percent. Come on, man. One hundred percent. You didn't you didn't apply yourself. But I'm glad he's going to get uh get his mental health situated. What else we got, Taylor Gang? What's that Ooh. guy? Throw me your phone. So hold on, hold on. Was that the great Dr. Umar Johnson? Yeah, Don't you ever refer to that man as this guy? Yeah. You show that man some goddamn only. respect. That is Dr. Umar Johnson. Okay, one of the greatest minds of the 21st fucking century. Are we still in the 21st century? Yes. Yes. Let's see, let's see what he had to yeah. say. Yeah. I really can't believe Desire ain't getting pussy in Japan. That's crazy. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's kind of wild, bro. I think it's crazy. He couldn't wait till he got off the plane. Like, yeah. He was brick hard, man. He was super bricked up. What do you think happened? Chris, have you ever been to Japan? I have not. Oh. Sorry. But have you heard anything about paying for pussy out there? Like I said, it's the same as anywhere else. I mean, I know that... Is it, though? <laughs> I, I mean, you're can... bleeding the fifth for a reason. Bro. Yeah. You sound mad guilty, Chris. Yeah. There's a camera on you. Come on now. You look extra fucking guilty. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Chris. <laughs> guilty. Chris. Come on, Chris. Chris. Chris knows something we don't know. Chris. I, I want to know what Chris knows. W Y G D N. What does that mean? What y'all gonna do? <laughs> come, come on, Chris. Tell us about that W-Y-G-D-N. Chris, I'm tell us about now. that W-Y-G-D-N. Chris going there with $100, 100 American dollars. What y'all gonna, gonna do now? <laughs> come on now, Chris. Ooh, you drop a hundo on him. Ooh. Let's hear what Dr. Umar said, Taylor Gang. Club season. Pull up season. I was too tired to go to the fight yesterday. I just ordered it on my phone. Tank was victorious. Tank was victorious. The ancestors blessed our young Baltimore brother. Keep going, Tank. You the GOAT, brother. You the GOAT in boxing. I'm the GOAT in black consciousness. Let's keep on going. Peace and Pan Africanism to all my brothers with African queens. Peace and Pan Africanism to all my brothers who got natural headed queens. Peace and Pan Africanism to all my brothers who don't date sisters with European hair color. Peace and Pan Africanism to all my beautiful African sisters with natural hair. Peace and Pan Africanism to all my beautiful African sisters who are not making babies with coons. Peace and Pan Africanism to all revolutionary activists around the world. Just pull up seat. Yo, Just pull yo, up. Wow. The he's the goat, bro. Goat. Nah, he's the goat, bro. He acknowledged the boxing goat, and then he hit you with a. Six piece combo to let y'all know who the fucking goat is, That's man. Doctor Umar fucking Johnson, yo. That's phenomenal. I'm playing with Doctor Umar. Why don't we have him on the pod? Yet? He got to be the first guest on the pod. He said you got to pay him. I told you that. Let's already. donate some money. He told you. He said you got to pay him. He told you what it was. <laughs> what it went? How much? I don't know. He never said a number. He just said you. I will pay donate him. some money to this. I'm saying brilliant idiots. Let's get him on brilliant idiots. He not gonna do a black podcast. <laughs> so fucking stupid. This is a majority <laughs> black podcast. If you look it at is, this room is, right it now, is, it is, it's it majority is. black. It is. So let's, come on, let's get over here, Dr. Umar, the prince, the goat. The goat. The goat. Let's go to uh, some Asking Idiots, Taylor. Let's go to some Asking Idiots. God damn it. What? It's 209. Let's go. You ready? Taylor, gang. T Taylor, Taylor, gang. Ooh, this is a good one. Zachariah, Zachariah Tolliver says, what law from the 48 laws of power have you applied to your life most? Easy. I don't know enough. Talk to me. Um, appear dumber than your mark. Ooh. Play a sucker to catch a sucker. That's the one. Uh, the underscore corner says, oh, no, I don't want to read that. That shit crazy. Now, this, this could be a good one, but I don't want it to go crazy. Wait, why, 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 why? So who would you rather be stuck on an island with for 24 hours, Young Miami or JT? Designer. <laughs> Japan's an island, isn't it? <laughs> yo, yo, isn't Japan an island? Just in Japan, technically an island. <laughs> yo, come on, bro. Wouldn't you want to be stuck on an island with designer? Hell no. Just horny as hell, just running around. 
<laughs> just fucking run. Let's start a fire. He just rubbing wood against his dick. That's gotta be the scariest shit in the world, bro. Just you and a guy alone, and he's brick hard. Talking about how horny he is, and he's talking to off in front of you. For real. Hope designer goes to get all the help that he said he's going to get. Um, do you think if ooh three four three underscore Allen says, do you think if your generation had smartphones, sm- social media would be the same as now? Probably worse, bro. Yeah, wait. So, what is the question? Like, social would social media be different now if our generation yeah. had social media? Yeah, would it be the same? Would it be the same now? I think that if we had social media, uh, this generation would reject it. Every generation tends to like reject what the generation before finds cool. Mm. So, I think that like we would be all on social media and doing selfies and all this shit. And I think the next generation would be like, "Yo, my dad and mom are so corny for being on their phones all the time, for taking selfies, for posting pictures." Yeah. Fuck social media. I'm not, I want a flip phone. Their rebellion to create their own identity would make them reject social media. I think our memory would be shit if we grew up with smartphones and social media. I don't think you'd be able to remember no jokes. That's interesting. I don't think I'd be able to remember shit to go on the air to talk about mm-hmm. because I don't feel like anybody's actually retaining information in their brain. I don't even think people are actually retaining memories. I feel that way in their brain. I feel you know that. what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, like if you saw me, I go to like at the Black Effect Podcast Festival this weekend. I ain't taking no pictures. I wasn't recording or anything like that. I'm enjoying the moment. I'm taking it all in. I'm I'm processing how it actually feels. Yeah. And that by that the next day, I'm like, damn, I want to relive that again. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I want to relive that again because the energy made me feel good. I don't think that nobody's taking the time to actually feel anymore. There's no way you can. If you walk in this room right now and the first thing you think to do is pull out your phone and record, no, you're right. just take this shit in. You know you're what right. I mean? You're right. Kick it with a person. Have a conversation. Even when people, yo, I, I be thinking about this, right? When people see you out and about. If somebody runs up on you and the first they're like, yo, man, let's get a pic. You ain't, you ain't even take the time to have a conversation. You're not even taking the time to like enjoy the interaction. Sometimes you don't have the time for a conversation. Exactly. Sure, but I can say, what's up? How are you, man? You good? Blah, blah, blah. Something, it's something you can meet with brief interactions that make you actually feel like, I, I fuck with that person. You know what I mean? You're not even taking the time to feel anything because all you want is a picture. All you're worried about is yourself. All you care about is yourself and how you can feed your algorithm on Isn't that just a version media? of, can I get an autograph when we were growing up? Yeah, no. I, think, I think in a way, yes, coming yes, up and no. asking someone for a picture quickly is respecting our time. Because it's like, yo, I know you got a million things to do. I'm even inconvenienced you asking for a picture, but can I just get a quick pic and then be out of here? I love when people do that because it's just like they're considering I might be doing something I want to do yeah. and they don't want to interrupt that. Yeah, I'm not saying I want to have a podcast with you. Right. But you know what I mean? We just Sometimes they be doing that shit. They do be doing that shit. Yeah. But I think the autograph thing is way more intimate. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah, because what, for I see people... You're like, yo, can I get your autograph? And then at the, at the person's writing, that might lead to some little small exchange. Just something. Has just, anyone asked you for an autograph in like the last 10 years? Yes. A dude did the other Seriously? day and I thought he was getting over yes. on me. A dude had me sign a, a paper. He's like, yo, can you sign this? And then I signed another one as well. And I think he was like an autograph hunter. Yeah, people, they sell them. And I think what they do is like they can print an image on the paper that you sign, but mm. your autograph still you be careful. lies on top of it. Yeah. So I did it, but I was just like, I was like, yo, this feels peculiar. Like, I don't know what's going on, but I imagine what his game is. I'm going to get dudes kind of earlier on in their career. And then if they go and become the fucking guy, I've got an autograph picture of them. Mm. But it struck me as something, you know, that was yeah. a little bit. You should have like two autographs. like oh, one. The bullshit one, yeah. the Fugazi <laughs> yeah. one, and then the regular one? That's yeah. funny. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I think, um, I, like to Chris's point, I sign autographs all the time. People come to me with my books. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's I, I can see, but I'm shocked that anyone would even ask for an autograph. It's very rare yeah, nowadays. It's, it's rare. rare. You know, it, actually, when I do get it, I'll be like, man, let's just take a picture. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Dumps. I love how he just contradicted himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Let's get this picture. Listen, it's this. beautiful. This is why we. This is why we're here. <laughs> but that's different, though. <laughs> you, yeah, but you started with, oh, autograph is more intimate. Like it people, is. people. But I wish people also would do in that. 2023. You know, he Ooh. asked me and about you, back in on. the day. Hold on, Jazz Jita. This is a good one. Uh-huh. Would you take two inches off your height for two inches extra dick, or vice versa? My answer is, I'm good. 
but I want to know your answer. I'll take the extra dick. Wait, no. you would be shorter for more dick? Yeah. I'll be but you're already eight and three quarters in the summer or whatever lie you say. But about <laughs> imagine having that 10, though. No, I don't need 10 inches of dick. For what? Shit, you say that till you got 10 inches of dick. I you know honestly do and not. motherfuckers is at Knicks games asking you about it, and you got to push them to <laughs> off you. You know what I'm sorry, saying? Sorry. You don't know how uh, ten inches of dick probably you, is amazing. You wouldn't oh. take you, you right now. Let's say you got whatever you you say you have eight and three fourths in the summer. Seven seven three fourths, eight in the summer. Okay, eight in the summer. You wouldn't take two inches less dick. So now you have a six inch dick, which is a normal huh? size dick. Let's say you go, wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. But you also get to be 6'2". You look stupid 6'2", with a six inch dick. Do you know what also looks stupid? What? How old tall are you? 5'6". Five, 5'4", five. Five, with a 10 inch dick is winning. Winning what? Talk that shit, Taylor. The only way I'm saying that is because a lot of people don't want, a lot of women don't want short guys, so they will never know. That's that's just uh, stupid. And that's that's them missing their blessing. No one, first of all, Once no one wants a tennis dick around. either, though. Once word gets around, she, she said nobody wants a tennis dick. Hold on, last week say, on the podcast, I didn't say tennis. She said she, I didn't say tennis she said last eight. week. She said eight. But to be honest, she but, said Pete got a little dick for a white guy. No, yeah. she thinks because she doesn't know the height, the, the exact the height. <laughs> no, she doesn't know the the length. So she thinks it's just big for a white guy. What I'm trying to say is, I think most women would prefer a taller dude with a normal size penis than a shorter dude with a larger than normal. Five four ain't that short. Five four is like Come on. Kevin Hart. Okay. <laughs> if Kevin I mean, if Kevin Hart was single, Taylor. Think about how if Kevin Hart was single, would you date Kevin Hart? No. You're a liar. <laughs> and I can't believe nothing she says now. She's what? a liar. <laughs> Why you wouldn't you date so well? a good have looking multimillionaire? But that's your fault. You keep missing your blessing. Why wouldn't projecting, you date a good? Why wouldn't you date a good-looking, let's, funny, let's say a guy smart, was, multi-millionaire from your oh, hometown? Oh, so he's Kevin Hart. Like he's still what, Kevin Hart. What did I just say? I'm just asking. No, 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 no. Are you saying Kevin Hart like just a Kevin regular Hart. guy? Just no, Kevin actual Hart. Kevin Hart. You gonna date exactly? Yeah. Yeah. But think about it. In order to be five though. four, now stop it. In order to be five four, <laughs> you have to be <laughs> Kevin funny. Hart. You have to be Kevin Hart. That's what I'm saying. It's not because he's funny because he's rich and successful. It's not because he's funny. There's a lot of five four funny motherfuckers out there. That they you ain't giving the time of day. Yeah, That's right. You ignore him every time you go to Chick Fil A. I yeah. never dated a rich like. I've definitely dumped people that were. I Bucky can't stand too. it. Why would you height shame somebody? You so, well, we're asking women uh, <laughs> things that they, we don't need to ask them about. They're, they're just no, no offense, obviously, to women, but they have no clue why they date anybody they date. In five yeah. minutes, Taylor said she don't want nobody with a ten, she don't want a ten inch dick. She don't want Kevin Hart. You just don't want happy. You never ask here. women why they date the people they want to date. What do you mm, mean? Why? Because mm. they have no fucking clue why, and they why like to look at themselves through rose colored glasses. What like I like to, about? you do. That it's not just you. And men are, the, <laughs> men are the same way. We're the same way. We always think the best of ourselves in every situation. So women think the best of ourselves in this situation with the people they date. You're like, I would date him because he's funny. That's not the reason. No, I love that he has security too. Like I want, I need to feel secure. Wait, but, what, what is the but, security he has? But I'm not gonna stand for, like if he's a fucked up guy. I'm not gonna just be with him Who just because he has that? money. We were I'm not just about saying, we were talking about. No, 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 no. Because you're saying Rich. like you're, I'm with him because of money and everything else. But I'm saying if he had a fucked up personality, I'm not. Going Assume to. you like the personality. Okay. Would you rather the guy be taller with a regular sized dick or shorter with a larger than regular sized dick? I would rather a taller person. Of course. And most women would say the exact same thing. We're not saying tall with a short dick. But you're saying a short person with a long dick, that's still like. Yo, stop talking about me! <laughs> 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 this is crazy. Yeah, I'm not I sitting here. I know you son, are sitting here. You really, son, you really hurt him last week, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Certain things in life, you know, you don't you don't long for, but you're like, man, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? It'd be cool if people just walk around <laughs> yeah. talking about how big your dick was to have big me. I mean, not to have it, but just to e even have the reputation. Call him to have big me, me. <laughs> Larry <laughs> Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be wondering, like, yeah, just be wondering, like, man, do, do has a woman ever talked about me like that? They do talk about you like that. 
Really? Nah, I ain't talking about you like that. <laughs> 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 I ain't talking about you like that. So hey, you nah. heard his talk so Someone posted that shit on Twitter. <laughs> so a person that. with a long dick? What happened? No, remember when you were like, I wish people would talk about my dick like that. And I'm like, they do. And you're like, what? <laughs> I was like, fuck you. You, know, you want that 10, bro? I'm telling you that 10, bro. You want 10? You want double ditch? Why not? Now nah, add that to your head, bro. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody add two inches of dick to their head is crazy. Like, what do you mean, suck longer dicks? What is going on right now? Like, what did you just son, say? What is going on? What did you right just now? say? I don't know. Look, go come right, scroll down, Taylor. Question. Come on. What else we got, Taylor gang? Young Taylor who will never Wait, find but happiness. Drew, yes, sir. You being a tall person. Yes. Which one would you go for? I wouldn't. I I wouldn't change anything. Now, stop. Answer the goddamn question. I'm being honest. I wouldn't change anything right now. Yeah, all right, but the hypotheticals you have to pick one. How tall are you? Six two. So you'd be six foot with a two inch dick. Damn. <laughs> I went from zero to two. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no, 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 no. So would I take away two in inches of my height? Yeah. And add two more inches of uh, to dick. Think about yeah. your wife, bro. Nah. She might want two yeah. more inches, Still a bro. six footer. Yeah, exactly. She might want two more inches. I don't bro. need two more inches. Think about. I'm that. not trying to say I'm fucking the biggest dick in the world, but like I'm. I don't need two more inches. Summertime, and I want my height. Summertime vaginas get deeper, bro. Say again. Summertime vaginas get. <laughs> bro, deeper. you didn't notice that? That's true. The Penises heat. get longer in the summer. Vaginas get deeper, so you know. That is true. The, the heat expands. Do you do that? Y'all are annoying. <laughs> Y'all are annoying. You see tampons falling on the ground all over the street. <laughs> That's a fact, yo! When girls put the sundresses on. Sundresses on? Sundress season, Come tampons on, man. just falling down. That shit down. is crazy. Drop, drop, yes. drop, drop. <laughs> Pay attention. Pay attention this spring and summer. Just walk around, just look down. Uh -huh. I'm like, damn, that is a tampon. Yeah. Another tampon, another tampon. To the That's top, giant tampon drop. In That's the summer, some yo. bloody ass pussy. That is a fact. <laughs> You didn't know that? That's facts, dude. Mm -hmm. That's oh, facts. Taylor, I know you think it's gross, but it is what it is. It's part of the human body. It's a natural. <laughs> yes. It's what women go through every day. I don't think you should shame women for having That's right. <laughs> 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 Producer Omega says, what's something, this is the final one, what's something that you used to believe in but now no longer believe? Um, that Charlemagne has a dick that grows in the summer? Definitely grows in the summer. What's something that you used to believe in but now no longer believe, Taylor? Um, what? <laughs> he didn't even say nothing. You, you were asking her the question. Yeah. Yo, why? I was. Wait, are you no, trying to say? What you? I was asking you what you think. Hold on. You trying to say? Are you trying to say you interpreted that, that like you grow in the summer? Is that how you interpreted that? I interpreted how he read it. What What's something about? that you used to believe in but now no longer believe? And, and then I Taylor. said, Taylor, as if Taylor, what do you think? No. <laughs> That's how I interpret it, like, Taylor, what do you think? Not like... <laughs> that is so... What's up with you? <laughs> Yo, you're wild sensitive right what now. What is wrong yeah. with you, Taylor? You're wild sensitive right now. Let's in on one more. Come on, Taylor. There's another one. What's one? Taylor, put your bra away, son. <laughs> what the fuck you think this is? Who do you think this show is, Taylor? Come Far on. Taylor's trying to get chosed up. Stop. She really trying to get chosed up on this show. She want to be part of the whore hive? Yeah. Nah. Wow. Okay. Shit. What we got? What's the question you wanted us to ask, Taylor? It was like... Taylor is the craziest <laughs> human. This is actually a funny being. question. Go up. 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 <laughs> I'm him, JoJo. Oh, no, no, no. Wait. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, I'm him, JoJo. How far do bald people go when they wash their face? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I do all of it. Yo, when your face ends, yo. <laughs> right, like yo, that? Yo, yo. So you when stop you feel, you feel a little something? When you feel hair. So I do my facial shit, I do all of this. When I feel hair, that's when I stop. But you stop. Why not just do your whole thing? Like, why not use soap I on do. your whole head? I do. For like my products, I do. I put. I, I do it all on my whole. So head. you I, don't shampoo. You don't shampoo. I do shampoo. For what? what? You sh <laughs> the fuck you wasting all this shampoo. Your scalp, your scalp gets dry, so I do the shampoo and conditioner. 
You think your scalp skin is different than your regular skin? Huh? You think your scalp skin is different than your regular skin? Oh, it is. Is it really? Yeah, that's why they have uh, conditioners for your scalp. Oh, I thought that that was this, But they got, they got conditioners for everything. Your, your face skin is different than your body skin. That's why you use but a face lotion. That's just so they can sell you more products. Lotion. That's capitalism, baby. Nah, man. Come on, bro. They sell us left socks, right socks. <laughs> Because your left foot and right foot is different. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> well, put your left shoe oh on your right God. foot and walk. I didn't say shoe. Same I said difference. socks, bro. It's the same thing. Like he's selling left sock, bro, right put sock. Put them bro. on and they try. Go put the left sock on the right foot and you'll see the difference. Bro, you know what's crazy? I refuse to put the left sock on my right foot, bro. Do Even it though I know it's happens. the same it's sock. It's not. I hate you. <laughs> Try it and see. I hate you for the it's the same thing as left foot, right foot shoe. Compression socks are different. You really believe they're different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this like shit you'll is different. You'll feel a difference if you have. Why is the left foot yeah. different than the right foot with sneakers then? <laughs> it's the it's different, yo. You can feel the difference when you put the right foot on the left foot. I mean, the right. You know what the fuck I meant to say. The right sock on the left foot. You can feel the difference, yo. Switch them right now. See what happens. When I tell you that I hate you, switch, <laughs> switch them right now and see what happens. I mean it though, on an emotional level. Switch them right now. I and love see you, what but happens. there's moments where I also hate. Switch them. I bet you won't switch them. I won't switch them. One day you will. <laughs> Damn, Charlotte was fucking right, yo. They labeled this shit for a reason, man. This shit is all aligned, yo. Your it feet is. It and is your all balls, aligned. everything. Yeah, that's facts, bro. Um, I think that's all we got, guys. What? God damn, Taylor, why are you holding us hostage? What's more realistic, Charlotte breathing underwater or Schultz doing heart surgery? Charlotte breathing underwater is definitely unrealistic. Both those I things happen, bro. Both those things oh, happened. Uh, yeah, yeah, Schultz yeah. performed heart surgery before I breathed underwater. Why? I had we, performed heart surgery. Why are we acting like this shit didn't happen? No, I for real had performed heart surgery. When? Because my wife was heartbroken before she met me. <laughs> <laughs> you got to let a legend be a legend, <laughs> God damn it. God let damn. a motherfucking legend be a legend, God man. God damn it. As always, <laughs> if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're yeah, intelligent, girl. you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.